I, I hesitate to use the word revelation, but every now and then my wife hits me with a piece of truth and I go, yeah, that, that's absolutely right. Uh, my wife made a tremendous amount of sense to me this evening and she helped me through something that I feel as though I was struggling with. Now, before I get into that, this I feel like this video is going to be lengthy. I don't I don't mean it to be, but a couple of things that I just want to point out because that's what these are for is to get stuff out. Uh, I enjoy very much when my boss pulls up to where I am and I'm on my shit. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm always on my shit. I do my job, and I do it well. I like to think that I'm good at my job. It doesn't require a lot, but the things that it does require, I do, and I do well. I take my job very seriously. I take great pride in the uniform. There's even a video on my channel called Pride in the Uniform. I take great pride in what I do. Hold on, there's some stuff going on outside there. Uh, it's just a bus pulling around. I take great pride. And what I do, um, I always make sure my, my shirt is tucked in, I always make sure my badge is, is right there, you know, I even got my pen, you know, I keep a pen with me at all times. I'm very good at what I do. And today, my boss pulled up and I was actually on the phone with Kari, but I had the earpiece in, see I got my earpiece, and it was right behind my ear so you couldn't really see it, but also I'm talking on my phone. And he's just like, hey, how, how you doing? And I immediately went into business. So I was like, good afternoon, sir. We're just, we're having a conversation. I actually volunteered to work tomorrow. Uh, but it was the kind of volunteer where, you know how when you have food and then you offer it to somebody, it was to appear polite, but also you expect them to say no. So he told me about the shifts that they had and shifts that were working, but nobody had called off. And the beauty of it was, he was like, if someone does call off, if you can work some of the shift, we can break it down so that other people can, you know, pick up the slack. So instead of, oh, here's an eight hour shift. Hey, if you can knock out four of these for us, we'll get somebody for the other four. So I put in, I volunteered for that with the idea that he would be grateful and thankful that I volunteered, but it's not going to happen. You know, it's just, it looks good. Oh, Harris volunteered to work on a holiday. Wow. It's like, go ahead, Harris. It, it was it was to keep up appearances, really. Now, uh, as far as revelations are concerned, here's what's happened. Uh, we got paid today as opposed to tomorrow because tomorrow's a holiday. I took care of our internet and my wife and I bought a couple of little odds and ends, just things that she wanted for around the house, like bath mats. Uh, I ordered a book from Jessica Ray. Sub Ray, how you doing? Um, that kind of thing, just like little knickknacks. I bought some DLC for a game. What else did I get? Uh, I got a new tactical belt, and uh, I got a new memory card for my phone. Just like little odds and ends. Just little stuff here and there and that stuff adds up pretty quickly but also I was looking forward to participating in Black Friday because they're gonna be a lot of deals and I wanted to go ahead and pick up some stuff but my budget does not allow for it uh, and then Kari came to me and he wanted to know where we stood as far as his trip was concerned I remember telling him that I would I'd send him on his trip so he was able to put together what he needed, when he needed it, and he was like, is this still a thing we can do? And as a father, it's absolutely, absolutely we can do that, but I also wanted to sneak and get him the 360 later. But uh, it, it's just not going to work out. And I was feeling bad about it, and I'm like, I'm going through it. Like, how can I pull this off? Even if I can't surprise him, how can I pull this off where I can do the things I want to do for Christmas? and still be able to pay the rent and the answer is I can't it's just it's not in the cards it's not it's, it's just not in my budget to do and at first I was like I was upset about that like I, I can't be late paying the rent every single month like okay hold on you gotta bear with me here okay it's like I can't keep being late with the rent it's like I already look like we're gonna have to put off moving a bit cuz I wasn't able to save anything like nothing but 
you know, all my bills are paid, so it's fine. Wow. That nervous twitch, I haven't done that nervous twitch in a while. That's when I'm stressed about money. I, I, I stress out. And I didn't realize I did it till Asia pointed it out to me. But there it is. I just did it. That's funny. But uh, Asia pointed out to me, she's like, look, we, we struggled this year, like all year, to a point where we didn't know how we were going to make rent. We didn't know how we were going to keep the lights on. There were a, a lot of times where even I would come out not in my video be like, look, I'm nervous. Like, I'm, I'm literally scared for the future. I don't know what's about to happen. Uh, I, I know in early June I did a video called Dreading July. Because I knew July was coming and I wasn't going to have what I needed. And I was I was real stressed about it. But she pointed out, she was like, look, we were, we were behind all year. And now we're at a point where we're starting to catch up. So a year of debt I've been able to take care of in four months or less. So if there's not a whole lot extra left over from that, it should be fine. She's like, look, we can do, we can still do Christmas. We might not be able to get down on the Black Friday specials, but we'll be able to do a little something. Just not the big grandiose thing that I want to do. I was like, oh, I wanted to do like this big, but we're just, we're not going to be able to. I mean, it just, uh, it's just life, but it's nothing to be down about. And it's nothing that I should be kicking myself over because I, I don't want to say I was beating myself up, but I was looking for ways to be able to do all the things that I wanted to do and still be able to pay the rent. And it's just not humanly possible. It just it can't be done with the numbers that we have. So she pointed that out to me. She was like, look, we're Christmas will come and go and we'll be together and we'll have a good time. But it's Christmas. You know, Kari went so far as to say I'll give up my Christmas so that I can go on this trip to see my girl and I found that that was very noble and I was like good job good for you you made a choice but the consequence of that is that it's not going to be a whole lot for Christmas you know I'll still do little stuff here and there there'll still be some things that we can pick up you know and celebrate Christmas it just won't be the grandiose thing that I wanted to do it'll be little things which is fine uh come january february it's like i'll still you know i'll do my taxes i'm not even putting faith in my taxes it's just like i'm just moving forward with my checks at this point like we'll be fine financially we're fine it's just i wanted to do more for christmas and now uh mike's birthday is coming up uh, I want to do something there. I'll, I'll see if they're getting a PS4 or an Xbox One. I'll buy a game or something. You know, that'll that'll cover that. Kari's birthday is coming, which he's not expecting anything because he's 20 years old. He, then Asia's birthday is coming. I know she's not necessarily expecting anything, but I still want to, you know, it's her birthday. I want to do something. Then my anniversary is coming, so there are a lot of things in the works, and I guess we should lump my birthday into the mix. But you know, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to celebrating birthday number 42. It's like after, after so long, I don't even count birthdays anymore. It's like uh, I'm just old. But my wife really put it in perspective for me today that this is not something that I should be beating myself up about. This is not something I should be concerned with. Just continue to do what I do and you know more will come. She's got a couple of things that are in the works like her old boss is looking to work somewhere in the area and she's the kind of person where she's going to be like a general manager or a district manager. If she lowered herself to be a manager, just a regular in-store, she would still hire Asia. But as a general manager or a district manager, she can just hand Asia a store and say, okay, here's my store, run my store. So that's coming. And she's up for like a federal job too. Like they specifically said, hey, Asia, apply for this federal job we want you and they felt bad that earlier in the year they weren't able to give her the job that she was hoping for they loved her and they were like here's another opportunity for us to give you a job please apply so she's applying and she got invited to a Christmas party with these federal people so they want her they clearly want her so more is coming on the horizon but I shouldn't be kicking myself for what I can't do now it's like my wife's a smart cookie.